Hello once again dudes, my name is Bill and welcome to the uh I think it's twenty eighth XHTML tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna have about <coughs> something called input. So let's get started. Basically input is um like you have a little box where you can type stuff in. And let's say that we have an input here. This is how it looks. And by the way, I think yeah it's a single tag, so I got it. So right before what people like to do is to add like a bold tag or just not a tag at all. Uh right here. And type in something like a you know, password. Right. So let's go ahead and add some attributes. First we'll need an attribute called type. Or it's the only one actually. Well as a start, let's go ahead and type in text. This is just very basic normal text that shows up. So if we type in here you can see we have our password and we can type stuff in here let me type in I love bacon right, so let's say this was actually a password uh, like uh, beef jerky now let's say that is my password right but as a web designer you don't want people to be able to watch your password so what you do is that you go into the every root of type and from text you type in password instead now try to go ahead and save it and uh, run it. Now, if I type anything here, you can now see that it's censored. So, basically, we have some different types. We have password and text. There's also other useful ones, but we'll probably get uh, get to more about that later. Um, there's also other types of input. Uh, there's also a type called submit. And uh, I got mine on Danish, but let's take a look. It's like a button saying send. Uh, I probably remember this. So the input can be used for text fields and for buttons. Now there's another attribute called value. And what you do by here is basically you tell what, what it should say. And you can also give it a name attribute. Uh, but I don't want to do that right now. I just want to give a value like uh, click me if you're there. I should probably not say that. So, if we go ahead and run now, see, we'll uh, have a button say click me if you're there. So, basically, if you'll, you you can add functionality to this button with a lot of languages. One of them is called JavaScript, and we'll get around more of that later. But you can see you have tons of uh, types you can do. You can also say, say like send and see if what that does. As you can see, if we give it an em empty attribute uh, that doesn't work, you might think, well, send does work. Um, well, <laughs> it doesn't. Let's say that we have a key for a game. Uh, let's say this is one, for instance, or something. You'll see that send is an empty attribute. But because it's an input, we can always go ahead and type something in it. Because the input. Uh, we can just say empty and see what happens. Because, you know, that doesn't exist. As you can see, it just generates this. Now, if you want to have something where it could share a phone number, for instance, we're going to have about else uh, in another tutorial, but we're going to have that. That's called keygen. But basically, uh, let's say that we go ahead and make a bold one saying, and now we're doing a little, I don't know, saying nape, input type, and that's going to be equal to text because we, um, yeah, that's pretty fine. Uh, um, let's make a text area with the rows of seven and the calls, or just seven actually, the calls equals to 50, maybe. I don't know. We should probably add these around actually, that would probably be a good idea. Alright, so we'll give it a name, and also you can give it a name, I'm gonna call this random, it doesn't matter what name you give it, it's not not very needed, but you can call it in other functions, so that's pretty useful. Now the access key it doesn't exist anymore, or oh, it does, sorry, yeah, I'm just, wait a minute, it's basically not very important. But um, the access key, basically, how could I explain this? 
Um, the access key basically tells like to definite a letter ex uh, together with example control or alt uh, button that removes focus from the actual element so I know that might be a little bit confusing but that's what it basically does so now let's in our text area and as always what we type in here will come up I'm going to type in a little bit about your self right so down here below now uh, let's go ahead and make a little break cause otherwise it will just stick together but let's make another input I'm gonna uh, type use the submit so it comes like a button and the value we're gonna change so it's gonna be like send information alright so uh, the single tag go ahead and save and let's look at the result we got so we got this is the result Depending on the browser you're using, might look a little bit different. But here, I'm gonna say like mill. Uh, I love programming, and then we have a button down here. So basically, this is it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.